Hi, my name is Lillian Erickson, and this is for um, Coach. Coach, can you hold my stove? Um, so I got a new order for my patient, Pat Smith. Um, and my physician order reads Lidocaine 1, motor on the program, I can go with now. And then I'm to start a lidocaine drip at 20 micrograms per kilogram per minute after the bullet. So, um, I've done, or I'm going to check this with my MAR to make sure that everything is just correct. I'm going to check the error rate for people. The error rate goes the right drug, um, the right route, and the right timing. Um, and then I'm going to gather my equipment. Well, actually, first I'm also going to go to my IV um, blood handbook, and I'm going to look at the, um, the dilution, um, and I'm going to look at rate of administration. Um, my dilution is, I have a bag of lidocaine here in 2 grams in each side for me, or actually, uh, or we have 50 milligrams and 100 milliliters of each side W, and each side W is compatible, except for compatibility. Um, the bullet I'm going to give does not have to be diluted, it says. Um, I'm to give it 25 to 50 milligrams over one minute. Um, so it's the rate. Um, for the antidote, it says there's no specific antidote, but you would treat whatever reaction they have. Um, so, I'm going to get all of my supplies out. So for the bullet, um, I need one milligram per kilogram. Um, so I'm going to, for my mass, I know that my patient weighs 80 pounds, which is the same as 36 kilograms, and I need one milligram per kilogram. So I'm going to need 36 milligrams. I'm going to take my vial. I have 100 milligrams per five milliliters. So I've done my mass. Um, 36 milligrams over 100 milligrams times 5 milliliters, um, and I get 1.8 milliliters. I'm going to use some bullets, and I know I don't have to use this fast. So, I'm going to take an empty syringe, and I'm going to withdraw the 1.8. I would do the 1.8 of my lidocaine for my bullet. Um, now I'm going to look at my um, infusion. I have my 50 milligrams to 100 milliliters of U5W for my lidocaine. Um, so I have got my tubing out, I've primed it, um, and I think I can go into my patient's window, I have all of my equipment. So now I've come into my patient's room. I've um, pulled my curtain so my patient has privacy. Um, I've introduced myself to my patient. Um, hello, Pat Smith. My name is Lillian, and I'm your nurse today. Um, I've checked. I will go ahead and check um, his on-ramp, and I'll have him do his new birth date to me. So I'll check that. And I can also check his ID card. And I know from um, the records that he has NS 100 milliliters per hour infusion um, right now. And I know that the lidocaine and B5W is compatible with normothane. So, um, first I'm going to get the bullet. And I'm going to have to go right into a port here. Just a port. So I'm going to take my alcohol swab and swab it off. And um, before I swab it off, I can also put my gloves on.
And I've also checked for allergies in my patient. And I know that um, he does not have, or she does not have any, or she does have an allergy to morphine, which isn't applicable in this situation. Okay, so I have my lighter pen and I'm going to swab this off. And I'm going to take both of these sterile. And I also know that this needs to be given over. Okay. Let me check my handbook. Period of administration over one minute. And I'm also going to, before I give it, I'm going to check that I have the right patient, the right drug, the right dose, the right time, and the right route. So I'm going to do all those checks again. And so I'm going to give this over one minute. And, we'll turn this off. Okay. and then I'm going to take my flush. And I'm going to administer this also over one minute. So that is it for my bullet. And I'm going to be watching my IV site too while I put that in. Make sure that there's no infiltration and no pain. Um, Alright, so now I can go ahead over to my infusion. And also do my same checks with this. I need to check that I have the right drug. That I have the right dose. Um, the right route and the right time. So, for my infusion, um, I have 20 micrograms per kilogram per minute. So, my patient weighs 36 kilograms. Um, and so I've done the math and I know I need to give 72 milliliters per hour. So I can go ahead and alcohol swab off this port here. Okay, so I already have my normal training money at 100 milliliters per hour. So I'm going to go to my U and I'm going to run this concurrent. So I know I need to run 72 milliliters over an hour. Alright, and then my vol volume to be infused is 100 milliliters. So I'm going to put about 75. And I can go ahead and start that. And um, that would conclude my scale.